Hello everyone, Ian here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to get the Legendary Solo Armor Set. And not to get it confused, but I say Armor Set because, well, the clothing in Cyberpunk 2077 all have armor stats on them. There are a total of 5 pieces to this set, which is not too hard to find, so I'm going to go through this video as quickly as I can, so you guys can add this set to your collection. And again, I just want to thank you all for the likes and the comments, and especially subscribing to my channel. You guys have been killing it lately, man. It's freaking dope. Let's keep it up. But anyways, let's get into it. Okay, so for our first item, you're going to want to open up your map and make a waypoint in this area. Just so you have an idea of what lane you need to be in, and the item will be directly where my little green icon character is at. This location is going to be right below the West Wind Estate in Pacifica, and I would suggest finding the nearest fast travel box closest to the location, which would be the fuel station. Next, just follow the waypoint and you'll be on your way into getting the first item. You'll know you reached your destination when you see a random dude lying on the floor with the little red icon above his body indicating that he has some sweet loot for you to pick up. Walk up to the guy and you will receive the legendary titanium solo tech hodge with tactical software, aka a headpiece. Second on the list, you're going to want to open up your map and you're going to want to head to the Glen in Haywood. Fast travel to the Metro Glen North, which is going to be a hop and skip away from the second item. Once you have arrived at the Metro Glen North, just follow me in the video and you're just going to want to take a left here, run up and double jump over anyone in your way, run until you get to the first street intersection. Then you will need to cross the street on your right hand side, but make sure you look left and right before crossing the street. It's just good practice. Once across the street, make a right and you'll see some dope graffiti on the walls and an alleyway. Walk into the alley and you'll see on your left that there is a red gate that is closed, which you're going to need technical ability 15. And yes, I know, it's a lot. But if you've been leveling up your tech ability like I mentioned in my last videos, then you can enter this cage and you'll see a lady on the floor with the legendary heavy shock absorbent solo jacket. And like with all legendaries, make sure to re-roll them until you get the mod slots you're looking for, you know, if that's your thing. For the third item, open up your map once again, and you're going to want to travel all the way down to the location that doesn't even have a name. It's just question mark, question mark, question mark. But what you can do is set a waypoint like shown in the video so you know where to go. Then go to the closest fast travel near you, and then you're going to want to travel to the far ridge location, which will take you all the way to the waypoint. Just spawn your car and ride out to the destination. Once you have reached your waypoint, cut through the dirt until you see some dead bodies on the floor next to some big boulders. Walk up to the kind gentleman on the floor and you will also see some luggage lying there as well, holding the legendary ultra thin composite print solo shirt. Oh, and make sure to grab the cash from the other luggage cases as well. For the fourth item, take out your map and navigate up north to Wellsprings in Haywood, just off the edge of the map to this location where my character icon is. And just our luck, there's a fast travel box near the spot we need to go to, which is the pumping station. Fast travel there and begin your way to the waypoint. On my travels there, I found this yellow ladder next to this red building which leads you down to the lake? Lake? Or river? I don't know. Once down the ladder, make a left and follow me down until you get to the spot where you will see a green iron gate. Which you can walk to, but it's blocked by a shed. But it's okay though, because you can just double jump onto the shed. Walk to the end of it and drop down and you'll see some more dead bodies. Go inside the shed and you will see a weird dude on the floor with no pants but uh, he has his socks and shoes on so that's good. And he will have for you the armor plated synth leather solo pants. Last but not least, let's get them boots. To get these you're going to want to open up your map again, once again, and navigate to Kabuki Town in Watson where you're going to want to go to this location where my little character icon is. Once you have arrived at the location, it should look a little familiar, or at least I hope it does since there was a few missions to do around those parts in the early game. Just follow me where I go into this area and head to the left where you'll see an elevator. Enter set elevator and head to the third floor. Once on the third floor, make a quick left and you will see a box right next to the food stand that holds, you guessed it, them legendary boots. And with each piece collected, this is what the solo armor set looks like. And I think the set looks, well, actually pretty good. I really like it because it's simple and dark clothes just naturally look good. So, okay, awesome, dope. So now you have acquired the legendary solo armor set. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please consider giving it a like. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe as well. I hope you all have a great day. And until next time, peace out.